reinforced concrete circular column of 400 mm diameter has a four steel bars of 20 mm diameter embedded in it. First of, find the maximum load which the column can carry. If the stresses in steel and concrete are not to exceed 120 MPa and 5 MPa, MPa respectively. First of, take modulus of elasticity for steel as 18 times of, of that concrete. Okay. So first of all, right on, uh, diameter of the concrete, it will be uh, diameter of column, it will be given. Capital D is equal to, it will be given 400 M. 400 mm. Okay. That will be get gross area of this column section. It will be like well, this one it is circular section. Okay. So for circular section, area formula it is pi into capital D square pi into capital D square divided by 4. So this one it is column, it will be actually in circular section. Okay. Is equal to it will be get so pi into pi into pi into the diameter it is 400 square 400 square divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 that will be get Cross area is equal to is equal to pi into four hundred square divided by four. That will be one twenty five point six six. One twenty five point six six into ten to the power three mm square mm square. Okay, this one it is gross area. Then four bars of twenty mm diameter of embedded steel it is given. So area of steel it will be Four bars of four bars of it will be four bars of four bars of pi by pi into pi into so diameter it will be given how much diameter of pi will be twenty square twenty square divided by four twenty square divided by four twenty square divided by four so area of steel it will be get area of pi into 20 square divided by 4 into 20. So it will be 1, 2, 5, 6.637 mm square, mm square, okay? So this one it is area of steel. So gross area it will be, this steel it will be made up from the, it is added area of, area of concrete plus area of steel, area of concrete plus area of Steel, okay, area of steel. So from this relation, calculate the area of concrete. So AC is equal to, you know that AC is equal to now AG minus cross area minus cross area minus cross area minus area of steel. Okay. So gross area it will be gross area it will be right over here. Cross area it will be 125.66 into 10 raised to the power 3, then minus area of steel it will be 1256.637. Okay, so then area of concrete it will be get from this relation. Okay, so 125.66 into 10 raised to the power 3, then minus 1256.637. One two five point six six into ten to the power three minus one two five six point six three seven. That will be get one twenty four point one twenty four point four zero three four zero three into ten to the power three mm square mm square. So this one it is area of concrete. Okay. So now next question it is given. Find the maximum load which can column can carry. Means we need to calculate P. So P is equal to question mark. P is equal to question mark. Okay. P is equal to question mark. So 
if the stress is in steel okay. so uh, next one it will be given modulus of elasticity of steel as 18 times that of concrete means es is equal to 18 times of ec ec okay this one it is given okay that is means es by ec it will be 18 okay so next one it will be what it is given if if stress in steel if stress in steel if stress in steel 120 mp 120 mp 120 mp comma then stress in concrete it will be then stress in concrete then stress in concrete you need to find out Tracing concrete, need to find out. The tracing steel it is 120 mm. Then tracing concrete we need to find out. Okay. <coughs> then for this relation, we know that EC is equal to ES. EC is equal to ES. EC is equal to ES. So EC means it will be trace sigma C. In concrete divided by divided by EC EC is equal to is equal to tracing steel tracing steel tracing steel tracing steel divided by ES divided by ES divided by ES. So sigma c is equal to we know that sigma c is equal to sigma c is equal to E C by E S E C modulus of elasticity of concrete divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete divided by modulus of elasticity of steel into sigma s sigma s. Sigma S. So we get relation from this. So sigma C. Sigma C is equal to for that. So E C by E S. It will be one by eighteen. One by eighteen. This value will be one by eighteen. One by eighteen. One by eighteen. Into. So sigma. S. As for that, it will be 120. Okay. So sigma c is equal to for that. Sigma c is equal to place in concrete is equal to you will get 1 by 18 into 120. So it will be 6.67 MPA. So this one it will be 6.67 MPA. MPA. The second one it will be when if trace if trace trace in in concrete if trace in concrete five MPA five MPA then trace in steel then trace in steel and trace in steel trace in so we need to calculate spacing C. Okay, so for that, <coughs> so we need to relation same here. Sigma S is equal to sigma S is equal to sigma S is equal to E S by E C. E S by E C. E S by E C. Into sigma. Into sigma. 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 Okay. So is equal to so ES by EC it will be 18. 18. And sigma C for that it will be 5 MP. So 18 into 5. 18 into 5 it will be 90 MP. 90 MP. 90 MP. So from this relation it will be take maximum value. Okay. So I will note down EC value. Area of pocket one twenty four point 